Hey guys, William Justice here. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, and video editing. You guys like my timeline tools so much that I had to update it, and it's time for version 2. Already, it came out a week ago, and there's more to do. Simon said, cop uh, uh, Simon said feature request for V2. Can it be made to copy shading tab data too? And I responded, uh, somehow I knew it was coming. Simon has a great channel with lots of Resolve content. Um, if you get a chance, check it out. I, put a, I got a link down in the description below. So what new features are we going to get in version 2, and did Simon get his wish? Let's find out. For full details of the Timeline Tool script, make sure you check out the first video. I have a link down in the description. So do you like this update animation? I'm working on a new plugin that makes it a little bit easier to do these kinds of effects. Let me know what you think and if you'd like me to make a tutorial on it. I actually use the Timeline Tools version 2 to space out and arrange the letters for this animation. So in general, the Timeline Tools make it really easy to align your text. You can align it to the right, to the left, center. Um, you can also evenly distribute it vertically and horizontally. The new Timeline Tools have a Distribute and Center option, which lets you arrange your clips, you push the button, they're automatically distributed evenly on the screen, and centered. For the Text Plus option of the Timeline Tools, Simon got his wish. We can now copy the shading data from one of the clips to other clips. So if you have a background, shadows, borders, um, any of those shading effects, they can now be easily copied to any of the other Text Plus nodes in your timeline. If you enjoy my videos, make sure that you like and subscribe. Also, comment below and let me know how I'm doing. I do read all the comments, and I love to hear what you guys have to say. To download and install the script, click the link in the description. It'll show you where to download it and give you some instructions on how to install it. You basically just have to copy this file into a specific folder in Resolve, and it's all ready to go. There's also a new stats tab that gives you some basic information about your timeline, how many clips are on it, how long the total time is for all those clips, and it kind of breaks down the number of clips by color to kind of give you an idea of how your timeline is set up. Let's take a look at how to use the new Timeline Tools options. Let's take a look at the basic Timeline Tools, and I'll show you how some of the new features work. So what we have right here is a timeline. We have um, four Text Plus nodes, and I got some uh, DaVinci Resolve logos up in the upper left, and a background. We're going to use the Timeline Tools to quickly align all the text. To open the tools, you hit Workspace, Scripts, and then choose WJ Timeline. And this is the new Timeline Tools window. And the way it works is you use these alignment options and they're gonna automatically look at everything that is in the playhead position and align it. Since we don't want the background or images aligned, what we need to do is disable them. So you can highlight all those clips and hit D on your keyboard and they're all disabled. Now that they're disabled, we can use the alignment options and we're just gonna click right. And it aligned all the text to the right. We can take the top clip and let's move it over all the way to the left side of the screen and we'll align it to the left. Shift it over a little bit more, align it left again, and they get they all get aligned. So that, that's the basic alignment, left, center, right, where there's also a vertical align center, and then there's a distribute. So we can distribute vertically by clicking the vertical option. It's going to evenly distribute the clips between the top and the bottom. The new option down here is vertical center. So it's going to evenly distribute vertically, but it's also going to center it in the composition. And you'll see it centered up there. So if we maybe we want our text a little closer together, we can take the top text and bring it down and then we'll hit center vertical and it centers them vertically. Same thing works horizontally. Let me uh, space out all these clips a little bit. Okay, we got them spaced out a bit and this is gonna just um, demonstrate the difference here. We're gonna um, center uh, the, let's click align vertical and that's gonna put them all in the same line there. I'm gonna make the text a little bit shorter. We're gonna go T1 and we can click the distribute horizontal and it's gonna show horizontal. So, so to demonstrate the difference between the horizontal and the horizontal center, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top clip. Yeah, let's move it right here and we're gonna take the last clip and move it over. So when we hit distribute horizontal, it's going to evenly distribute these between the, one, the clip on the left and the clip on the right. And you can see there that they're evenly distributed. But there's times where you want to distribute things and center, get, make sure that everything's centered at the same time. And that's where you use the horizontal and center and it's gonna distribute, it's gonna keep the same spacing but shift everything so it's centered on the screen. And this is what I use for the update animation. I put the letters down, adjusted the position, and then and then used the horizontal center option and it aligned it and spaced it perfectly for me. And then we can also use the vertical. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, some of the text styles. I'm gonna reset the text and we're gonna try out some of the new styling options. Okay, so for the text plus options, you hit the text plus tab here and there's a copy at playhead which will copy the style of the top clip to every clip underneath it, and then there's the copy to timeline all, and that'll take the style of the top clip and copy it to every single thing in the timeline. There's also this color option here where you could choose, say, orange, 
And what it's what the system will do is it'll find the first orange clip under the playhead and copy that to all of the other orange clips on the timeline. So it's a way to kind of create some styles. There's a lot more information about this in the first video. The new option is the copy style. So there's copy basic style and copy full style. Version one was the basic style, version two is the full style. The basic style will copy the font size, font name, um, font spacing, and a couple other things. Let's choose the full style and let's uh, really adjust this text a lot and see what happens. So we're gonna go, let me, show, let me show you a real quick example of the copy of the full text style. Let's take this window and move it out of the way. We have it set to copy full style. Select the first clip and go to the title area and click shading. And let's set up some shading options here. We'll choose uh, enable the red outline and let's make it a lot bigger. And instead of solid, let's do a dashed line. And let's make it a little bit bigger. Let's add one more thing here. We'll click option number four. Enable it, this is a blue border. We can uh, round it off a little bit and let's set it to beh go behind all the text, round it off some more and adjust the uh, horizontal and vertical extent, make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we got some crazy text style. Actually, let's, uh, all right, so there we go. We got a, a new text style. Actually, we can come in and uh, let's adjust a couple more things. Let's, let's take the, uh, the shear and we can kind of slide it a little bit, move it around. So anyway, if you want to copy this to the text underneath the playhead or any of your text in your timeline, all you need to do is hit the copy at playhead or copy to timeline. Let's go ahead and do copy at playhead. These are all updated. Say we wanted to change something. Maybe we don't want that blue border. Maybe we want the blue border to be kind of a, kind of a red pink border. We'll do that. And let's change our outline real quick and we'll make the outline be black. And to get that on the other ones, we just do copy at playhead. All right, there you go, Simon. The shading information is being copied. Hopefully I got all of it. There may be some missing. So if something's not copying or working right, you guys let me know. And once you're done, you can re-enable the other clips. We'll highlight them and hit D and there we go. The last option here is uh, stats. This is just a real quick thing. It uh, gives you the timeline name, number of clips, and the, the total number of time for all of the clips. So we, in this, this one, we have eight clips and this is the total time those clips are using. There's also an option for the uh, clip color. So if we colorize, say look, like say three of these clips, and let's make them orange. When we go back here, we'll see that we have three orange clips and they're taking up uh, three minutes and 34 seconds. So these, these are pretty long clips actually. That's the basics of the Timeline Tools version two. And the last, there's a Donate About tab. If you like it, you can click the Donate button, but it's definitely not necessary. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support. Um, for the Timeline Tools, click the link in the description. It'll give you a download link with some instructions on how to install it and get started using the Timeline Tools script. New videos are on the way soon. Um, I'm gonna be trying to get the videos out a little bit quicker now, see if I can kind of speed up my pace because um, I got a lot of different things I wanna do. Um, so hopefully we'll be having a new video really soon. Um, thanks so much for watching.